Welcome to this Ready to Craft. In this video, I will show you how to make an alebrije using Ready Board Foam Board. To begin, I've attached my template to a piece of foam board using repositionable spray adhesive. You can also use rubber cement. I'll trim away large amounts of excess. Then, carefully separate my template pieces before cutting each one out. For these tighter corners and curves, I will elevate my piece and push the hobby knife through. Be careful of your fingers. Peel off the template pieces. I'm going to paint a base color on all of my pieces. I applied two coats of black, allowing it to dry in between coats. I'm going to do some of the decorating before I assemble. Using white, I'll begin by adding the skull. I'll add dashes down the back to mimic vertebrae. Then we'll add a scapula. a few ribs. Don't worry if you don't get it perfect the first time. You can always go back and refine your edges with black paint. I'll let that dry before moving to continue my dashes up the tail. I'm matching the vertebrae on the other side of my piece. I 
I've used my phone to take a picture of the side that I've already painted so that I can reference it while I paint this side. While that is drying, I'm going to cut down the back legs and ear pieces. Using my ruler as a straight edge, I'm going to cut at an angle and remove a triangle of foam. Notice that I'm removing slightly more off the ears. This is so that they sit closer to the main body piece when we attach them later. Moving on to the front legs, I will add some bone detail. hip bone shape onto my main piece. Next comes the back legs. Don't forget the back of the front legs either.
assemble. I like to add a little glue inside the notch on the front limbs. I'll use straight pins to keep the hind legs in place while the glue dries. After giving my hind legs a little time to set, I'll add the ears. Let the glue dry completely before removing the pins. Now decorate. I'll show you how I decided to decorate my project, but you could do whatever designs you like. Good quality brushes will make adding small details much easier. Making both sides match, but you don't have to. Once again, don't worry about being perfect. Most mistakes can be covered with your background color.
has completely dried, use a clear coat to protect all of your hard work. I use a water-based spray polyacrylic, which needed to be applied in a well-ventilated area. Try different styles of decorating as well. If you try this craft out, we'd love to see it. Our social media links can be found in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If there's a foam board craft that you'd like to see ready to craft of, let us know in the comments.